traditional musician back then. Uh, you have to think about the Korea 30 years ago. I remember um, the music scene was very uh, weird as a young person to look at it. Uh, <clears throat> when I learned the traditional music, I was very proud that I was doing nation's music. And then actually when I graduate, I have nothing to do because court music that I learned was not, doesn't function. We didn't have a court anymore, and uh, um, as a traditional musician, I didn't see what I could do with that material. And at the same time, Korean music uh, musicians were uh, worshipped to European classical music, and so then the traditional musician become a second class. So I was looking for desperately looking for a new place for me to keep going, and in, into my mind it was. United States, because um, I thought about going to Germany or, or some place in Europe, then I realized that I have to deal with their traditional game. Well, <coughs> compared to that, America is sort of a liberal place mm -hmm. and also immigrant country, mm -hmm. and I thought I would fit into better there. So, so I decided to come to America. <laughs> saying that all sound is music. Isn't that wonderful? Mm -hmm. And I become feel very comfortable to, to follow his direction. Otherwise, I'm a traditional musician and where I'm going to belong to when I come to America. Mm -hmm. right. So he was the real uh, important figure for me at the time. Mm -hmm. What are the new challenges for you as a Kamongo player working with Western instruments and and different uh, musicians of different cultures. Right. I traveled over 50 uh, different countries uh, to perform and collaborate with their musicians, local musicians, uh, quite often traditional musicians in each country. My interest is to uh, communicate with the non Koreans. And uh, when I play with the non Korean musicians, then I start creating very new sounds on the moon. Because the situation, you really have to do something new. I can't push that, uh, this is Korean sound, beautiful sound, please follow it. You can't do that. You have to compromise the situation to different language. And then, uh, because of that challenge, I create more than I would collaborating with a Korean musician at the time. My goal is to just communicate with them. And once I set my mind that way, then actually it's working, you know? It's very creative and also it, the, um, the, the, your, you know, the, the consciousness to give your things and to others or taking others seriously to, into your mind. I think that that's very beautiful. Uh, moment. So I enjoy it very much. Why don't we talk a little bit about uh, Digital Buddha? Is that okay? Yes. Digital Buddha. 
You know, I think uh, um, the most significant Asian influence in American society is meditation. In the uh, visual Buddha too, uh, obviously my common goal is historically, since 4th century, it's based on Buddhism aesthetic. When I made it, the, my electric Congo, uh, even though the sound and the material is different, I try to keep that essence of Congo, which is meditative energy. So through this digital Buddha too, I'm still trying to deliver this meditative energy. I try to connect this huge space that I'm a very small person. We all know that. <laughs> When you play this piece with other people, you're, you're performing uh, in November with uh, two other colleagues. Uh, Samuel Chetarich, tabla player, and Thomas Buckner, vocal vocalist. And are they also um, expected to meditate or to know about meditation to perform this piece? Well, let's put this way. If this music is only for meditation, or that, that the concept is um, uh, based on meditation, I think it, it, there will be some creative moment. But however, I think uh, bottom line is that there, there is very strong uh, the, uh, the calm energy underneath, I think. Uh, with uh, uh, um, Samir Chattanooji, uh, we're making two duos. Uh, one with the common go, acoustic common go with the tabla. It'll be interesting. Korean Indian culture merging together. It's going to be interesting. Uh, and then also I play drum, Buddhist battle drums, huge one, very big one. Three of them suspended, huge frame. It's beautiful. And uh, he will play tabla. And so we are making drum duo as well. Uh, and then uh, Tom Buckner will sing. Uh, for him, I decide to bow the electric go. And uh, I recently upgrade the electric go program for specifically for that piece. So it will be for new sets of sound. I find this very interesting um, about the electric go because it's the only electric go in the world. Right. right? Maybe you could give some of um, you, some idea of what what's happening technically. What are you doing? Um, I understand you're doing some sort of processing. Or it's uh, first of all, it's amplified. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's electric instrument. But I was not interested in amplifying instrument. And that you can do that using microphone. Mm -hmm. But that goes to the uh, uh, computer. I'm using a Max MSP program, so it goes to uh, the uh, computer program, and that will uh, the I have also MIDI pedal. I can use a foot, and uh, uh, I can trigger the program in live, so it's going to be uh, live interactive uh, performance. So I have about the, right now 40 different kind of programs and I'm triggering the, the uh, different programs. What was your interest in, in using these programs to get out of the acoustic world? Well, you know, as all composers, I'm looking for new pieces, new toys all the time, and have acoustic common go so beautiful one, I can make music for acoustic separately. But having another instrument, I didn't mean that making uh, better instruments than acoustic. I just want to have two different toys. When I was in Korea, I was struck at how important the earth is in Korea and things are things are very much rooted in the space and the right. earth. Right. And um, and when I watch you perform on the Kamungo, it's such a it's such a physical and natural experience. Very earthy. Yeah, and the way and the, you know, the way you strike the strings, it's just so, um, it's very moving in that way. And so to use the electric kamungo is kind of like your other personality almost. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Completely well, other place. Isn't it nice that you could have a pose? Uh-huh. Yeah. But that's the joy. Mm-hmm. So, yeah.
thank you so much. It was, a, it was absolutely wonderful speaking with you and hearing about all your work. Thank you so much.